Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and I was always told I had a voice radio, so today I'm going to be answering a question that has been asked for the last couple of hours. The question has been, hey Ross... Are you still on hashtag Team Poplio? And I thought, you know what? This is the kind of question I could answer with a tweet or a reply to the YouTube comment. But I thought, no. I've already ranked the free starters. Link in the description. I've already ranked the free stage ones. Link in the description. So it's only fair nowadays, ladies and gentlemen, to go and rank. Now that we have the final evolutions, let's go ahead and rank them. In at number three, Decidueye. Now, this might seem like a little bit of a shock. Back in the original, Rowlet, Poplio, they were very, very close. Decidueye, I, it looks like a stage one. It doesn't look like a stage two. I am not a huge fan of Decidueye. The name, we've got Deciduous, which describes a tree that sheds its leaves. Think the mighty oak. And I, because, I don't know... Owls are wise? Instead of explaining where I comes from, take a look at this butterfly that looks like an owl eye. There we go. Hope that helps. Now, Decidueye has got some things going for it. It can mask its presence from other people. It can pluck an arrow from its quill, send it hurtling towards its target. It's fast. It's got precise aim. It can aim from more than half a mile away. And it can even make some curved shots. But it becomes terribly flustered when surprised. Whoop, whoop. Not loving it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be perfectly honest. Decidueye, it's ruined all the faith I had in Rowlet. Sorry. As a side note, Decidueye, for anyone wondering, we've all been asking the question, it's grass and ghost. Because, you know, owls come out at night. And night is spooky. And the next surprise, coming in at number two, Primarina. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Poplio was number one. Brion was number one. Primarina, only number two. Now the name here, we've got Prima, meaning kind of best first number one. Ironically, given that she's coming in at number two. She is a water fairy type, and of course, Rina means ballerina. Yeah? Not loving it so much, although she does look like a stage two, which gives her the edge over Decidueye. She dances around, releasing balloons of water, moving them around using song, and then jumping around on the balloons and leaving traps, etc., etc. All sounds very good, but her greatest enemies are arid environments and using its voice too much. Now, as someone who does podcasts and videos regularly, I understand the danger of using your voice too much. But really, that's your big weakness. Also, it's clearly half dog, half mermaid. How about dog maid? And that is why I'm not naming Pokemon. As well as being a water type, Primarina is also fairy because, you know, all effeminate Pokemon, fairy type. And that means coming in at number one, in a shocker, it's Incineroar. Now, we've got Incinor, like incinerate, like fire, and Raw, like Raw, like a lion. Naming, not a big fan of the name here, because we've already had Pyroar. Pyro, fire, incinerate, fire. We've already had a fire raw Pokemon. It was Pyro. We didn't need Incineroar. Not loving the originality on the name. What I am loving is it actually looks like a big bad stage two, the kind of one you wouldn't want to mess with. Instead of the extra organs that the stage one had, Come on. It's got a flame belt. A championship belt like a wrestler has, made out of flame. It shows no concern for opposing opponents, and it even launches attacks that strike opposing trainers. Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty cool. Now, it does lose a desire to fight when it comes across something weak or injured, but... 
the biggest problem with it is that a lacklustre crowd makes it lose focus. And as well as being fire, Incineroar is also dark type because he's mean and doesn't mind injuring the other trainers. So Incineroar comes in at number one, but we've got three stage twos here, one of whom cannot handle when it gets a little bit flustered by surprise attacks, one that cannot handle Aaron environments or speaking too much, and one that doesn't like a lackluster crowd. This is not Venus or Blastoise and Charizard, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be honest, these are fairly weak as far as stage twos go. So, I suppose that finishes with the question of... Am I still on hashtag Team Poplio? And the answer is, overall, in number three, we have the Rowlet line. I'm sorry, Rowlet's quite cool, but I really dislike the other two. In at number two, we have the Litten line, saved by Incineroar. Might have had the worst stage one ever, but it's saved by Incineroar. And at number one... Hashtag Team Poplio. I'm going to be honest, I'm just not letting Poplio evolve. I'm going all the way through the Elite Four with my Poplio. I don't need Brion. I don't need Primarina. Ladies and gentlemen, I am all on hashtag Team Poplio. So now we've looked at the basics. We've looked at the stage ones. We've looked at the stage twos. You know the deal. Tell me what you think. If you're still on hashtag Team Poplio, pop it in the comments. Would you like more videos along these lines with new Pokemon being revealed? That's what the comment section is there for. There's a like button. There's a subscribe button, both of which I suggest you use. And, of course, follow me on Twitter at The Wossy. The most important thing as always, is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.